What's up, guys? I'm here with Scott Noonan, the CEO of Audio Advice. How are you doing, Scott? I'm doing great. It's the final day of Audio Advice Live. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So you guys have been just rocking and rolling this whole time, right? Like, the turnout's been crazy. We talked a little bit yesterday. This is like insane. This is an amazing event. And first, I just want to start off this video by saying thank you for having me out and everything. I really appreciate it. You bet. This has been a blast. I appreciate you coming. You know, just getting all of us together, yeah. live and breathe this space has been really so much fun. Yeah, awesome, awesome. So we actually talked a little bit about your new theater seats that you guys have launched. I'm super excited about it, and we actually just wanted to make this video kind of make people aware of it. And yeah, what, what can you tell me about these seats? Like, why'd you guys decide to get into the theater seating market at this point? Yeah, ultimately, we kept getting feedback from customers that would say, oh, if you could do this one thing, or if you could do this one thing. And as you might imagine, we live with these chairs in our right. own homes. And we thought, what if we built the ultimate seat? Like, yeah. what if we took everything everyone came to us with, put it all together, and tried to build a seat that was affordable for people that had everything we wish we wanted and everyone came in? And so it was a long project, about a year and a half. Wow. You know, as you've seen, you and I playing around with it, like, we've tried to think of everything that we were all kicking ourselves for, yeah. you know, on other chairs. Yeah, yeah. And, you know, we were talking, too. I have the uh, Valencia Tuscany Ultimate Luxury Edition, I think. It's a mouthful, right? But there's a lot of things that you that I've seen on these seats that you guys kind of like revamp, like I have some issues with the, the Ultimate Luxury Editions with one of the main things is the buttons being on the side and you guys have the buttons like right near the cup holder. Where'd you guys, like did you guys do some focus groups or something to, to arrive at that? How did the design for these chairs come about? Yeah, so we'll talk specific, specifically about, you know, where you put the controls. There's really two ways to do it in these chairs. One is to put them on the inside, and uh, a lot of people do that because uh, it costs a lot more to put them into the cup holder where we put them. But ultimately, when you survey customers, the problem is people can't see them when they're on the side, and so they're fumbling through them. When you move them up into the cup holder, even though it's more expensive to implement, uh, by far, the focus groups say people want them right there at their fingertips, easy to touch. And so that was, honestly, that one was like one of the very first decisions that was sort of a no-brainer for us. I love the fact that the buttons are on top. You actually have the USB uh, charging cable right on top, too, because the problem I was having a lot is I would charge my phone while I'm watching a movie or playing a game or something, and I would like hit it with my pocket and it would just come unplugged. Here, you don't have to worry about that. That's right. Or like I actually damaged a cable. I broke a, a, a lightning cable. So uh, yeah, props to you guys for putting that on top. I mean, it seems like you guys really listened to the focus group that you guys did and kind of, you said you spent a year and a half designing these chairs. That's, that's insane. Yeah, and you know, even like one of the things you and I were talking about before, we added lumbar support, right? That was one of the things people were very focused on is, okay, we've got dual motors, so it reclines and we've got headrest. And when the first lumbar support came back, it felt like all the other ones that we had tried that lumbar and we're like, no, 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 we've got to get the right arc on this and the exact right feel. And so, and that meant we needed to test it with people who are shorter and taller and medium size. And you know, you sat in it, it's yeah. pretty cool. Yeah, it's really awesome. There's just a lot of cool features in here. We talked about too, the tray table right? Or is, it, is that what you call it? The tray table? Yep. Uh, I have it for the Valencia. And the problem is that one has a smooth surface. So my laptop just flies off when I, if I'm not too careful when I'm doing calibrations. So you guys actually uh, have a certain type of finish on here. Do you want to talk a little bit about that? Yeah. So I actually had uh, a prior chair in my own home that had that rectangular. They're very popular over a lot of uh, internet based um, chairs. And it had that slick <laughs> rectangular top. And my gosh, uh, the amount of times we knocked a wine glass or beer off of it, just because yeah. if you get just barely off or you bump it, it goes right off. We made this oval. It's obviously a much you know, much more expensive to make a uh, tray table, but it's oval and it has a neoprene type of cover on it that is basically, you felt it like it's intended to hold things to it. And then we put an indentation for a drink right, and then it. actually a border around it. So even if you had something, let's say a plate or something, and you really Ooh. bumped it hard, the neoprene should actually basically hold it, but even if it doesn't, it should hit that border. Uh, and we also designed it, it's oval instead of um, rectangular, which actually gives us more space to put, uh, f let's say you have popcorn or you had a you know, dinner plate on it plus a drink, and it's designed so that you can spin it backwards so when you lay back, it can reach you and then you spin it forwards when you're in a more upright position. That's really cool. I honestly love that. There's also something special about it. I actually had to buy my table separately for the Valencia. Right, right. What's so special about this one? Yeah, so it turns out, so if you imagine, our goal was to try to make this as affordable as we could for people, but yet every decision was, well, we got, to, we got a little bit more expensive <laughs> this, a little bit yeah, more expensive yeah, yeah. that. If you do the math with the manufacturing in, um, 
of the chairs. If you pretty much know you've made a great trade table and everyone's gonna want a trade table, and the, and the answer is when you go survey people, everyone does want to trade. I mean, you, you wanna be able to put your popcorn there and everything else if it's gonna work. It is actually way more economical to mass produce all of them with a tray table. So we actually produce every single tray, you know, every chair has a tray table that comes with it. And actually, if you if you buy these and you get them from, you know, audio advice and they get shipped to you, you may think, oh, I didn't get the tray table. Yeah. Open up the arm and it's there in every single one from the manufacturing plant. That's amazing. So you don't have to worry about, oh, I need to buy uh, one right out of the gate. Yeah, you can always buy an extra one if you want to spare or, or, or multiple ones. But it's so awesome to hear that it's included because that was the first thing that I bought for my Valencia yeah. was the tray table. And that's like a hundred bucks. So like, even that is like, you're adding to the cost. So again, major props to you guys for, for you. doing that. Yeah. I appreciate it. Uh, you know, and also something that I do uh, talk about a lot is, you know, everyone seems to be buying gaming seats these days, these bucket seats. Right. And if you have a home theater or something like that, you're playing these long gaming sessions, three, four, five, six hours, stuff like that. As sometimes I do. I mean, a lot of people do, you really need that extra comfort, right? It's not just for movies. For me, it's like having all of the extra features, the lumbar support, the headrest, the way you could, you know, recline and get your head exactly where you need it to be in line with your screen so you're not having to hold your head up the whole time and, and you strain your neck. Uh, over time, especially for gaming, that can that could just make the world of difference, right? Yeah, that's exactly right. Yeah. Yeah, perfect. So, Scott, I want to thank you so much for taking the time to talk to me about this. I might actually buy a couple of these <laughs> at some point. I mean, I, I'm sitting in them. I love the finish. It's super, super awesome. I'll leave, uh, leave some links b uh, below in the description for other videos I've done at Audio Advice Live. Thank you so much for watching, and I will catch you in the next video.